بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما منك العليم الحكيم My topic today is about differential diagnosis of testicular calcifications, common causes, less common causes, and if there is any area of causes, and essential for the diagnosis with some examples. Hoping you like this talk. The essential information for diagnosis, we should correlate between the clinical and sonographic feature, and this is very important. For example, incidental finding, patient with testicular microlithiasis and scrotal beards, patient if has history of pain, abscess, chronic infection or tumor. Another example, patient with intrinsic calcification, we should raise the possibility of testicular tumor epidermoid cyst, and if there is associated with a trauma, testicular hematoma or hematocyl are in differential diagnosis. What are the differential diagnoses? We have common causes, less common causes, and rare causes. Common causes, testicular microlithiasis, non-seminomatous germ cell tumor, sertoli cell tumor. Helpful, helpful clues for common diagnosis. Testicular microlithiasis, we should have small, two to three millimeter, discrete, multiple non shadowing echogenic intratesticular fossae. Can be involvement unilateral or bilateral. Can be associated with germ cell tumor. In report cases, up to 40%. As we see here, it is sagittal grayscale ultrasound of the right testis, and we see multiple tiny calcific foci hyperic work involving most of the testis consistent with testicular microlithiasis. Here, another patient with longitudinal Doppler ultrasound, we have multiple hyperechoic non-shadowing foci representing diffuse testicular microlithiasis. As we see, the, this calcification has no posterior acoustic shadowing. non seminomatous germ cell tumor, it is complex solid cystic testicular mass, heterogeneous echogenic fossae due to calcification plus minus fibrosis, along with retroperitoneal lymphadenopathy, can be seen with burnt out testicular tumor. This is very important, keep it in mind. Calcification more common in a tumor than that contain teratomatous component. As we see here, none in this transverse grayscale ultrasound of the right testis, there is partially calcified heterogeneous mass and the pathology 
confirmed mixed germ tumor with 75% of uh, embryonal cell, 15% teratoma, and 10% yolk sac component. Sertoli cell tumor, it is a small, hypoquick, solid, or cystic mass. The, may they have punctate calcification and occasionally tumor calcification may be form large calcified mass known as large calcifying sertoli tumor. As we see here in this sagittal grayscale ultrasound of the testis, partially calcified mass involving here with calcification and the uh, pathology confirmed sertoli cell tumor. Here another patient with a transverse ultrasound, ill-defined lobulated uh, echogenic intratesticular fossae with posterior shadowing consistent with calcification and the uh, final diagnosis confirmed calcified sertoli cell tumor. Here, another patient with a transverse ultrasound of the testis, densely calcified mass with posterior shadowing, and the histopathology confirmed calcifying sertoli cell tumor. Less common causes, we have scrotal trauma, scrotal beer, epidermoid cyst, scrotal abscess or epididomoophtitis, calcified tonical bogina cyst. Helpful clues for less common causes, scrotal trauma, chronic hematocele, we have complex oxygenic fluid, if a chronic appears as heterogeneous echogenic mass plus minus calcification, no intrinsic vascularity on Doppler ultrasound. Here, we have sagittal ultrasound, demonstrate calcified mass confirmed on pathology with heterotopic ossification as we see here the echogenic area with shadowing and with fibrosis and secondary to a traumatic injury. So to the scrot sorry scrotal beam Calcification of detached testicular epididymal appendages due to previous inflammation or torsion of the appendages. Solitary, discrete, echogenic fossa, focus and tonica vaginalis. As we see here, sagittal ultrasound of of testis and we demonstrate the echogenic area in the superior ball with posterior shadowing. It is extra testicular in origin and suggestive of scrotal beer or scrotolith or stone. Here, another patient with oblique ultrasound. It is intrascrotal echogenic foci focus with posterior shadowing and the features suggestive of scrotal beer. And we see here the hydrocele and the testis is normal. Epidermoid cyst, we have laminated appearance on ultrasound 
and may have peripheral calcification calcified rim. As we see here, this ultrasound, oblique ultrasound of the testis will circumscribe a predominantly hypochloric intratesticular mass with calcified rim, as we see here, with some shadowing. Features are highly suggestive of epidermoid cyst. Another patient with transverse ultrasound, and this is a demonstrate heterogeneous mass with calcified complex mass, cystic and solid component with calcification here on the rim and pathology confirmed epidermoid cyst on this patient. Scrotal abscess or epididomorchitis, tuberculosis infection may produce enterosclerotal calcification, scrotal sinuses, granulomas appear as a small echogenic fossae plus minus calcification. As we see here, scrotal abscess, got a sagittal grayscale ultrasound demonstrate heterogeneous left testis with calcification here and thickening of the scrotal wall. And this is represent sequelae of epididoma orchitis. Calcified tunica albogena cyst, typically located anterior superior aspect of the testis, and within the tunica albogena may cause mass effect on the testicular parenchyma if it is large and it is a vascular. As we see here, it is located in the anterior superior aspect of the testis on this sagittal grayscale ultrasound with a demonstrate calcified lesion in the tonica albogena with posterior shadowing due to tonica albogena cyst with calcification. Thank you very much for listening. Hoping to see you soon in another talk.